you saw me working on this and messing with this gearbox a little bit. Um, I've got two of my slugs that I machined up on my uh, lathe right there. Just some uh, cold roll steel, drilling a hole through them. So that way I can mount this gearbox. What I do is uh, drill holes through the frame. And uh, there, this is a four bolt box. So I got four of these and they'll go right through the frame with the holes that I've drilled. So like right now I've got two of them through the frame and they're just very, they're just kind of loose. Um, and yeah, you can kind of get an idea of where this gearbox is gonna be. So this is a Pitman arm. I'm just gonna be using um, a chunk of this for the splines. I'll be fabricating a Pitman arm off of this. That's just kind of on there to help me eyeball. Um, but you can see I've got, this is a GM steering box. It's going inside the frame. And yeah, shouldn't have uh, really any issues getting over here is where we're running. We need one more drag link to go from that swinger to the pitman arm right there. And then we can work on connecting the linkage um, right up in there. If you can see it, it will be a straight shot. That's what I'm working on right now. Uh, I'm working on moving the bumper, kind of in the middle of a whole lot of stuff on this. So kind of figured I wasn't gonna get all the stuff that I'm working on finished in this video. Um, I've got all sorts of different stuff going on, working on that box. I do have both of the shocks. Um, on each side mounted now I need to get one more mount um, cut out on the table and then these on over there um, And then also the tube disconnect if you've been looking at this wondering how I'm gonna pull the motor out of this truck um, Got some tube disconnects that are gonna go in here Gonna get all these tubes are gonna get cut and welded so that the way these bars are removable So I've got to work on doing that Got to work on um, finish welding a whole bunch of stuff so Yeah Kind of got a lot going on with this and it's all in progress um so maybe maybe next video we'll have uh steering and everything on there but for now um something i've been wanting to do and we've talked about in past videos is i'm ready to get this machine running um as i'm working on this stuff um over here just a lot of tedious time stuff um i've got some things ready to start trying to get like my first production run on my cnc mill so i want to try to get this thing set up uh, maybe next week to be running parts in the background while I'm working on this thing um, And some other stuff we got going on. So I got shocks everywhere in the shop right now It's getting to be that time and also have began Cutting and prepping uh, this beam kit for this Chevy. So gonna be getting this thing going here pretty soon I uh, got a lot more parts to cut out I need to cut out the swingers and the knuckles yet and then I'll have a full kit here I got radius arms and beams all cut out um, so I'm going to start getting that stuff welded on the bench. Um, and you just saw me put together a whole bunch of tools. Um, this is what we're getting ready to make. So this, uh, brake rotor from that truck, the second one is still in here. I'm going to finally unbolt this thing and figured I'd get, uh, one of my vices set up in there. Um, got all these, this tooling set up and I've got a program to uh, just an op one program right now, just for the top side operation. And I'm gonna try to prove out some feeds and speeds, um, do some tool changes. Um, when I ran this, I only used one single tool and you know, pretty simple to open a bore up to a bigger hole. Um, now I'm gonna be taking um, a piece of material like that, cutting it and loading into the vise and trying to machine uh, this shape out of it. So gonna be a little bit of a trial and error learning curve and uh if i get it all set up though my plan is to run this whole bar out um and make those i should be able to make five full sets with those so i can show you um right there is uh my program that's my part drawn up on fusion 360 and then got a tool path programmed on it so i'm gonna go ahead and get my mill flipped on and Start working on loading tools, getting the program loaded, kind of just all that fun stuff, and getting a vice put in there. Um, I don't know how much I'll talk and show you versus just do the GoPro, but I kind of get uh, a setup, and once I get the setup, I need to, um, I haven't filled this thing with coolant yet, so I need to get my um, hose going and my concentrate and mix up some coolant, and I want to try to test the coolant out on running this job, and yeah. We'll uh, see how it goes. I figured uh, 
yeah, while I try to get this going, like I said, so I could, it can be running in the background while I'm working on that truck over there. Um, that's kind of what I'm going to be doing. So figured maybe we'll end this one with some setup and uh, see if we can make some chips and spray some coolant out of these nozzles today. So let's go. yes just like that we got some coolant going i'm pretty freaking pumped right now this is the very first time i've got the uh, coolant pump turned on in my mill and i am uh, running a program i'm just running it dry right now i just have an, an offset set three inches above my part in there but as you can see i got all those tools all touched off in there the whole program is wrote um it's dry running right now and yeah you just saw me fill the thing up with coolant too so i got coolant spraying and we're pretty much ready to start cutting parts. Um, I think I'm gonna leave it there for today. Oh, it's going up. Let's see it do a little tool change action. Should be grabbing like a center drill next. And then it should flick that uh, coolant back on. Oh man, that's beautiful. A little center drill for uh, the center hole. Go to put that away. It's gonna go grab uh, our drill bit. <laughs> Bring that thing out. Same thing. Like I said, yep. Just everything is running good. Uh, so far, it's all looking good. It's all got that same offset in there. I think it should be grabbing that one inch high feed right there now. Just like that. That's gonna rough out the profile of the part and then uh, end mill is gonna come in and finish it up. Got all sorts of other tools in there. Like I said, I think this thing has got uh eight tools total for just this op one i still got to put the other vice in here and then program the uh backside yet but uh for now yeah i think i'm gonna call that i'm pretty freaking pumped on that um we're gonna have much more stuff on the i-beam chevy next we went over that at the beginning um now i'm all set up should be able to uh, get this bar all cut up and 
get these things running all next week. Have this thing uh, making noises and get steering on the Chevy. Um, lots of shocks to rebuild. Another I beam to do. Lots of stuff coming. Uh, Dune season is definitely getting underway here at Dune Heavy Machine. A lot of people hitting me up. And yeah, uh, it's going to start getting pretty wild around here. So thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning into my stuff. And we'll see you guys out on sand here shortly. Peace.